It cannot be business as usual. That was one of the messages from this week's Tropical Landscape Summit, held in Jakarta. The summit, which brought together industry, government and civil society, discussed the need to commit towards creating and sustaining financial partnerships for sustainable development. Once you move from an environment whereby climate is not risk, climate is opportunity, you will get the money. CFOR's Director General Peter Holmgren was on three panels and underlined the point that investments in green economy must prove they deliver sustainability and good profit outcome. But they're often disadvantaged in many ways. Holmgren emphasised that both the private and public sectors need to recognise and act on the opportunity for financial return in the green economy. Well, several people here, both from the private sector, from the government and from other organisations, they, they say that we're turning a corner, we're looking at landscapes uh, more holistically, we don't see the same barriers between sectors as we saw before, and, and there is a lot of interest from uh, private investors to, to go down this route and find sustainable solutions. Away from the public arena, high-level discussions among the participants were held. The Indonesian government took advantage of the summit to announce a two-year extension on the moratorium on new concession permits for primary forests and peatlands. The Minister for Environment, Siti Nubaya, said the summit was important for future planning. It is a good opportunity actually for this uh, ministry to, to let people know about our policies and also the government policies as well as the technical know-how and scientific basis and international experience to be informed to the whole stakeholders. The Landscape Summit 2015 was held in Jakarta on April 27 and 28.